In this video, we study a numerical based on the concept of bijective function. What is a bijective function? We studied earlier that a bijective function is the one which is both 1, 1 and on 2. That means the function should follow both the characteristics of 1, 1 function and on 2 function. Let's read the question, go through the options and let's get started with the solution of the problem. If function is given to me, wherein the domain is what? It is 0 to infinity, which means 0 is also included since it is a square bracket. And the codomain is also 0 to infinity. And you have to check which of the following options is correct. These are the four options given to me as 1, 1 and on 2, 1, 1 but not on 2, on 2 but not 1, 1, neither 1, 1 nor on 2. That means it wants me to check both 1, 1 and on 2 and whichever satisfies that would be the answer. So let's see the solution of this problem. First we have to check whether it is 1, 1. So to check whether my function is 1, 1, we have again three ways. One would be the graph method. There is not an easy method to draw a graph. So let's uh, forget about drawing the graph and then solving 1, 1 for that. Next was using calculus. Yes, we have something in the form of numerator upon denominator. We know the formula. We can solve using calculus. And then let's solve for further steps too. So for a function fx, which is x upon 1 plus x or x upon x plus 1, I can also write it as x upon 1 plus x or x upon x plus 1. Addition is the same. What do we need to do? We need to find the derivative f dash x would be what since it is numerator upon denominator we need to apply the formula of numerator upon denominator i write the formula for those who do not know and for those who know they can already apply the formula if i have a function as u upon v the derivative is what it is known as f dash and the derivative is computed by the formula u dash v minus u v dash or v dash u upon v square where u is the numerator v is the denominator do not get afraid we'll use this formula to solve this i'll explain it now first what we need to do is we need to identify what is u what is v the numerator is u the denominator here is v then we need to find out u dash and v dash Let's find out u dash. u dash means the derivative of the numerator. What is the numerator? It is x. The derivative of any variable I told you is 1. So you can just find it and write it. Keep it aside. Next, what is v dash? v dash means the derivative of the denominator. What is v dash? v dash is the derivative of 1 plus x. See, 1 is a constant, no derivative 0 x is a variable derivative again 1 so very easy now we know that both these derivatives are 1 what we need to do is we need to just put the values in this formula u dash means 1 1 into v 1 into denominator is 1 plus x right v is the denominator minus of the formula minus of the formula v dash v dash means 1 forget about 1 multiplied by u what is u what is u what is u u is nothing but the numerator then upon so upon what is next in the formula v square v square means denominator square denominator square means 1 plus x whole square easy now cancelling minus x by x what do we get we get 1 upon 1 plus x whole square this is what we get as 1 upon 1 plus x whole square. Now again, either go to the second step, put critical point equal to 0, make the question lengthy or you can also go by that way, it is not wrong. But to save time, what we can do is we can apply some logic. The denominator is whole square. When it is a whole square, that means what? That means that it will always be greater than 0, always be positive. And 1 upon something positive is again always greater than 0. Since it is 
always positive, it is what type of a function? It is strictly increasing function. So, it is strictly increasing function. Now, since it is strictly increasing function, what happens is it is neither always decreasing, it is just always increasing. So, since the monotonicity property is there, so it is a 1 1 function and hence this is 1 1. Now, check the options wherein you find not 1 1 that can be easily deducted, cancelled. Neither 1 1, option cancelled. Not 1 1, C option cancelled. Two options left, option number A and option number B. Option number A and B both have 1 1. Now, we cannot tick any option as it is, you just need to solve about onto also. So, let us get started by solving for onto and then we will know if it is 1 1 onto it is bijective otherwise it is not. So, let us see for onto. An onto function is the one in which we find that range is equal to codomain. That means all the elements of the codomain have one or the other pre-image in the domain. Now, the technique to see or check whether a function is onto or not is what? Whatever function is given to us, it is in the form of y is equal to x upon 1 plus x, you write it like, like that. fx can be replaced by y every time. You do not have to now solve it as it is, you have to manipulate it to find the value of x. So, cross multiply, we have y plus xy is equal to x. Take out x common. So, y is equal to x minus xy. x would come out 1 minus y. Find the value of x. Just as we had various steps for 1, 1, the technique for on 2 is what? It is very simple. You have to assume that fx is equal to y, fx is equal to y and then you have to manipulate the question such that you get the value of x. Now, the question is in x, it is not in y, right? Now, watch the question again. What was the question? What was the range, domain, codomain? This has to be taken care. I have 0 to infinity as my domain. That means the value of x cannot be anything other than 0 to infinity. If the value of x if I put here is 0, what gives me as the answer? y would be 0 upon 1 plus 0 which is 0. So, when x is 0, I have y as 0. Now, when x is something other than 0, since it has to be 0 to infinity, so it has to be positive only. When x is 1, suppose putting values on a hidden trial basis to understand what is the question actually. 1 upon 1 plus 1, that means 1 by 2. Now, when x is 2, 2 upon 1 plus 2, that is 2 by 3. Similarly, you can keep on putting values and you come to a conclusion that the value of x although is from 0 to infinity, but the value of y is never, never, never reaching 1. It is not equal to 1, it tends to 1, right? The value of y here is from 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 3 in fractions. Now, come here to what we saw here. That means x is equal to y upon 1 plus y. When x is greater than equal to 0, greater than equal to 0 means what? 0 to infinity. When x is greater than equal to 0, we find the value of y as limited, constricted, bounded. Why are we doing all this? Because we were confused at these two options. So, we have to sort it out. When x is greater than or equal to 0, y is getting values starting from 0 to less than 1. It starts from 0, but it does not equal to 1. It is always less than 1. 
but what should have been the case the case should have been 0 to infinity for y as well the codomain was 0 to infinity you see that the codomain was what the codomain was 0 to infinity but the range that we obtained is what the range that we obtained here is 0 to 1 that means range is not equal to codomain rather range is a subset or less than codomain so it is not on to it is not on to since it is not on to the option number a cannot be the answer so the option which is the answer is option number b double tick on this option option number b so in this question what do we saw we saw what is a bijective function numerically we had already known about 1 1 on 2 function but this was a numerical on the same